Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Tower Room. And last time we asked for your opinion. To expose or not to expose? That is the question. So thank you for all your opinions on the subject. Uh, a lot of you said, yes, go for it. Expose the wall, repoint and have a nice stone wall. And a lot of you said, don't do it. And the reason you all seem to say that was because you said there's enough features in this room without another one. And I think you're right, actually. Uh, you know, we've got the fireplace, we've got this lovely window here, we've got that window, we've got the door. Uh, and of course, this lovely ceiling. Um, so, and this fireplace down here, we're going to retile that. That's going to be another feature. So I think it, it's perhaps a little bit of overkill. So we've decided we're not going to expose that wall. Um, however, there is a wall downstairs in the kitchen we've been chatting about, and perhaps we might expose that one at some point. Um, but yeah, thanks for your opinions. And, um, yeah, it's always interesting to ask, and uh, it was kind of split 50-50, you know. And one person said, yeah, I love the idea of doing that. Why don't you expose all the walls? <laughs> Which, that would look cool, but uh, yeah, life's a bit too short. I haven't really got time for that. Um, but thank you for your opinions. It's great. So, what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to carry on stripping these walls. Uh, you saw me last week stripping that, and I just had to finish down here, which I did. I've also made a start on this wall. And the reason I'm carrying a uh, wire brush is because um, I've been using it to strip this off, actually. Um, there was a bit of a stubborn patch down here, so I thought, well, I'll get the wire brush and get it off, and it came off quite easy. So I thought, well, I wonder if it'll just come off anyway. And I found it did, so I didn't need the wallpaper steamer, didn't need any bicarb, and I've stripped this off much quicker, actually. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to get this done today, this last bit. And then that's these two walls done. And then I've just got to work my way around the room. In the meantime, Susie is going to show you the inspiration for the colour scheme that we're going to put into this room. I've come up in the attic here to find some soft furnishings which has given me the inspiration for the colour in the tower room. So I'm just having a look around. So I think it's all in this bag here. Right, here it is. I'll take this down into the tower room so you can see it better. Um, I don't know if you can hear the wind, it's a bit scary up here, <laughs> things rattling around, but it's, yeah, we're still going through some storms. It's not as windy as they predict, predicted, but quite strong gusts. So the less time I spend up here, the better. I think I'll take these down. <laughs> Um, I liked the idea of peacock colours in here, but I bought these a few years ago, Marks and Spencers, um, and I love the colours in it, the greens and turquoises, and I think, I don't think that's a peacock, I think they're, well, that one might be, it's Bird of Paradise, and I've got two of these, and I, I also bought this a few years ago because I liked the colours. And I also got this in a charity shop, I think it's from John Lewis, but as soon as I saw the colours, I thought it was perfect because it's got a green hue about it. It's, it's almost iridescent and that nice turquoisey colour. So that's going to look perfect. So, <laughs> so we're trying to decide which colours to do in here and something up there 
to kind of make a bit of a statement. Yeah. Well, we're not afraid of bold colours. No. So, yeah. And, so. and by the way, Jackie from Oklahoma, she keeps asking when we're going to paint the kitchen. Well, I'm going to be doing a bit of painting in there. I've got something up my sleeve, which I haven't told Rolls about, but I think he's worked it up because um, I, I did a test piece somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to do a bit of painting in the kitchen. Mm. So, Jackie? Only a small bit. Only a small bit, but it's a start. Yeah. And Jackie will be very pleased with Just that. Just to test it out. Now, whilst we're here, uh, Susan asked a question. Are we going to paint between the beams up on the ceiling? And yes, we are. Mm. I assumed it would be our parchment colour, which is our yellowy cream colour. It's, like it's got to be a warm colour. But I'm not authorised to make that decision. <laughs> this is Susie's department. Um, yeah, but we want to put some paint strip on the beams because I think this yeah. is a brown paint. And where you can't see from there, but where the wire, old wire was taken off the beams, it's, there's some white paint under there as well. So yeah, there could be two or three might, layers. Might be hard work. Yeah. So, yes, Susan, we are going to paint between the beams, but. But we don't want the beams don't. painted, do we? No, no, we don't want to paint the beams. We'd like we them strip the beams, a, a natural. But that could be a real yeah. pain. But anyway, so I'm going to strip that wall and mm. you're going to do some painting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm just putting a coat of white paint on here as a base coat so that I can see which bits need filling. It's not too bad. Um, I'm not worried about the window frame at the minute because we, we are going to replace these maybe towards the end of next year um, and do this edge. So it's not going to stay white. <laughs> no, Max, you can't have a paintbrush.
So whilst the filler's drying, um, I just thought I'd show you my inspiration for the colour. Obviously the curtains, but this plaster colour on here. Um, so the reveals of the door and the window will be different to the walls. The walls will be slightly lighter. But um, this is quite dark, this kitchen. It's okay in the morning when the sun's shining in, but we've only got one window and this door, so I want to bring some more light in. That's the idea anyway. Um, I've put another coat of white on and it's filled. It may need some more filling later, but I'm going to get a coat of colour on. Um, you might love or hate this, but it's you've got to think reflective lampshades and I want to bring the light into the kitchen and I've got a few ideas of how to do that around the kitchen. So here goes. The thing I love about this place, it gives me carte blanche to do what I like and be creative. Here goes. Well, I'm going to end the video here because I need to do probably another coat of paint on here and you won't see the full effect until it's dry and the light shining on it. Uh, but I'd just like to say happy Thanksgiving to all our friends in America and get well soon, Paul Jakes. And thank you for the coffees. A big thank you. Hope you're better soon. Thank you all for watching and liking and subscribing and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.